The flip side to all this talk about school funding can be found at Servium Girls Academy. It's tuition free for low income families. The Academy partnered this school year with award winning storyteller Jesse Berdinka. Turns out both students and teacher taught each other something valuable. Seventh graders at Wilmington's Servium Academy gather around in a circle to read their stories out loud. All righty. Are we missing anybody today? Is anybody missing today? One by one, the students present their narratives as their classmates listen with glee and sometimes awe. When I was at least like four to seven, I ate crayon, so I, the only brand I ate was Crayola. I wouldn't eat any other brand. <laughs> At first, a story like this may not seem very interesting, but when told well, it'll have your audience laughing in their seats. A job of a story is not to express yourself. The job of a story is to express yourself in a way that someone else will relate to what you're trying to say. I ran all across the mall, scared that I wasn't going to see my family ever again. I kept on thinking to myself, where would I live if I didn't have my mom, my dad, or my sister? I thought I would be lost forever and I would never see my whole family ever again. After weeks of working with Jesse Berdinka, a winner of the Moth Storytelling Contest, the girls soon learned the art of storytelling is a skill that needs to be constantly perfected. This is the way people write, by the way. No one writes in any book that you've ever read or any story you've ever told. No one just writes that out and <coughs> sends it into a publisher. They all go over it a hundred thousand times to make get every single line to mean something. And I think I'm hoping you guys are seeing that the work that you're putting into it is really making these stories better. Berdinka would know. He spent several years helping writers at Miramax craft their work. Miramax produces and distributes films and shows for television. My job was to help them find scripts uh, and work with those writers and directors to fine tune and hone those scripts into what they needed to be to be the movies that went on screen. So my job was uh, basically like a script doctor. The script doctor worked with the students for weeks, reinforcing the building blocks of a good story. English teacher Blair Borish is excited about how her students have grown as public speakers. One of the things in educational research now is, you know, literacy, reading and writing is super important, but there's this new idea coming out about oracy, which is the ability to express yourself orally and to tell a story or to, you know, express an opinion in a very fluent manner. A lack of confidence is often a roadblock that sometimes silences students because they think no one cares about what they have to say. But these budding writers have lots to say. Berdinka says they just need to believe in themselves. Listening to these girls' stories and listening to what they had to say, uh, they are natural born storytellers. They are really good at this. And so, uh, you know, my job isn't to tell them how to tell their stories, but to kind of get out of the way and, and let them see that they're naturally good at it. Maybe we should do this again next year. What about the year after that? Then the next year after that. And we were like, okay. I'm not sure I can ever look at a box of crayons the same way again. Now, with that in mind, Berdinka used to believe that people had a limited amount of stories. However, the girls proved that theory wrong. The kids loved sharing their stories in the framework Berdinka set up. She found interesting stories worth sharing from an amazing group.